my friends, it's your old pal Jordan the Lion and we have just entered the great state of Texas. We're a little outside of Wichita Falls and what I wanted to do today is go to a town called Archer City. Somebody turned me on to a movie when I first moved to Los Angeles. I always loved this movie and it was filmed out here. It was the great Peter Bogdanovich movie, The Last Picture Show. Days with Jordan the Lion, it begins right now. Hello, Wichita Falls. We are pulling into Archer City right up here, and I can see that famous water tower that we see in the movie so frequently. Actually, where Cloris Leachman lives in the movie is right under there. I am so excited to be here. Like I said, I love this movie and it's an all-star cast. Timothy Bottoms, Jeff Bridges, Randy Quaid, Ellen Burstyn, Ben Johnson, Clue Gulliger, introducing Sybil Shepherd. I mean, it really was a lot of great actors in this. And like I said, it was one of those movies where it captures a small town and the secret lives that people live and the fears and the decisions that they make living and being from a small town and they filmed a lot of it right over here. So let's go take a look. So here's that water tower that we see. And this really, the basis of this movie is it's kind of following the high schoolers and kind of what their lives are going through. And it all takes place basically right on this strip. Sam the Lion owns this, ironically. <laughs> Sam the Lion owns all these businesses. He owns the picture show. He owns what would have been next to it, which was the cafe. And then down at the end, he also owned the pool hall. Now at the time of filming, they came and this was not a functioning theater. I believe it was just a shell and they ended up using this. But look at what they've done. They've opened it up and I believe since then, Someone came in and decided to try and use it as a movie theater. So people basically bring their own chairs and they put a screen up there and there's an original Royal Theater sign up on the stage up here. And we see this in the movie quite a bit. This is like where they go for date night. <laughs> when when Sonny's trying to hook up and after Sam dies, he ends up leaving this to the, uh, the old madam who lived here or who was working here with him. And um, towards the end of the movie, when Jeff Bridges, who plays Dwayne, is going off to fight in Korea, they decide to come here for one last picture show the night before he gets on the bus to leave. But this is also the last night of the picture show because she realizes she can't do this without Sam. She just doesn't know how to run a business. So she's closing down the picture show. There's the picture show ticket booth. And this is also right here on these steps at the end of the movie. There's a, a boy named Billy that Sam is always watching out for. And um, there's a point where they bring Billy home. All the boys are hanging out with Billy and they always, everybody in town calls him slow or the idiot boy or, you know, things that you could definitely cannot say now. But Sam's basically right here and he's watching them bring Billy home and Billy's got a bloody nose and Sam starts asking them what they did like why they were fighting him. And he's, they said, no, we weren't fighting um, Billy. It was basically they, there's a woman in town who's kind of a, kind of a hooker. So they had hired her to take his virginity and she had ended up hitting him and giving him a bloody nose. And Sam gets really mad and tells all the boys that he didn't like people like them that made fun of Billy or that took advantage of him. And, the way he saw it is they were doing this just to 
get a laugh out of it. So he tells all the boys they're banned from all of his establishments. He doesn't want their money and basically everything that he owns is where they hang out. So he bans them right here, but in the end, after Sam has passed away, a truck ends up hitting Billy over there. He was sleeping and Sonny picks him up and brings him over here onto these steps after he's basically dead and has a breakdown right here and takes his jacket off and puts it over Billy's face. So the next door over here was the cafe. Another big meeting spot in the show or in the movie. And we see after they've been banned, all the boys have been banned, Sonny kind of sneaks back in because he really likes the lady who works here and she decides to fix him a burger and while he's in here waiting for it, Sam comes in, sees him, and Billy runs in and gives Sonny a big hug. So Sam ends up forgiving Sonny. And when Sam dies, he ends up leaving the pool hall down here to Sonny. It's so cool to see how much of this is still here. I mean, I believe not much of this was being used for anything anyway at the time and really no mention of the last picture show either but right here was the pool hall and then we also have other scenes where we see everyone over at this gas station right across the street so this was our pool hall I just can't believe I'm actually here. I mean, this is there's so many scenes in this movie where they're either driving up and down, leaving from here, going out to their car from here, or sitting in their car over here with this in the background, having a conversation, or even for the last time when Sonny decides to leave, he's looking at all this as he drives out of town. So you end up seeing this corner also in the movie. The way the movie shot, it's just too hard to do matchups for this. And then when they have turnaround shots, you see the windows from the, the building over there as well. Take a look at that. I love how they removed part of the wall to expose the brick in the shape of Texas. And if you Look, they put a star where we're at. Archer City. And then there's the hotel. We see this in the movie quite a bit. Them coming and going from here. It wasn't called the Spur Hotel at the time. Now check this out over at the visitor center. They have a couple of old seats and a walking tour, which I didn't know that they had this here, but they've created a map to help you see the sights of the movie. Of course, we just saw the Royal Theater. We're gonna go see Ruth Popper's house. Oh, that says Holiday, Texas. See if we can figure that out. And then the fishing scene was at Carver Lake. And you can actually see this scene at the other gas station. That was this one right across the street. So this particular shot that they have here is standing over here looking that way. So we'll go get that shot. So this shot would have been this. And over here they have a whole history of the city of Archer City and the farming and the oil. But down here at the very bottom tells about the filming here. It says, in 1969, Archer City was the filming location for the last picture show 
an Academy Award winning film based on the novel by native son Larry McMurdy. In 1988, Cruz returned to film the sequel, Texasville. Peter Bogdanovich directed both films. By his own count, McMurdy is author of 50 works, including Lonesome Dove, Oscar winning screenplays and films based on his books. Larry brought worldwide attention to Archer City with the opening of his rare and used bookstore, Booked Up, carrying an estimated half million titles. And look, as I came back to look at the pool hall, I noticed that this was Booked Up. This was his bookstore, McMurdy's bookstore. Wow, this was so cool for me to see today. If you've never seen this movie, go watch it. Wow. It's it's hard to explain because it doesn't have anything dynamic. The the beauty in this movie is the subtlety. The the idea that this town's so small that you know there's at one point where one of the guys say, "Well, I have to go out with JC. She's the only good-looking girl in town." And there's a part where JC is saying, "Well, if Bobby left, who's there left for me to marry? There's no, there's not going to be anybody left. And her mom says, well, what about Sonny? Sonny will always be around. I mean, it's like they, they're, they're making their life plans based on settling because they're in a small town. It's just kind of a interesting look at life. And the, like I said, the double life that a lot of them are having affairs. Sonny's having an affair with his coach's wife, Cloris Leachman. All kinds of double life here. So their little pamphlet says that the interiors were filmed in Olney's West Tex Theater because the Royal had had a destructive fire in 1965. So that's why they were only using the exteriors. This definitely is not a quiet town. There are trucks going through this intersection that we just filmed constantly the whole time I've been here. Before we head out of town, I wanna to come out here and see if we can match something up real quick. So here are our fishing scenes out at Carver Lake. Mentioned that earlier Sam bans all the boys because he thinks that they're making fun of Billy's short, shorter learning curve. And we see out here that that's not the case with Sonny. Sonny's out here fishing with Billy, having fun. He's more of like a big brother to Billy. Just a lot of people don't know it and Sam finally sees it. He finally sees that Sonny's one of the good ones. Little fun fact, this was, uh, the last picture show was Sybil Shepard's first movie. She was actually a, uh, a model. Peter Bogdanovich discovered her and wanted to put her in a, one of his films and I believe he was dating her shortly thereafter or during the movie or. All right, just like Sonny, we're out of here. Before we call it a day, somebody in Texas I want to go see. Alright, we've gotten onto a freeway. We're blowing through Fort Worth right now. Still got about two hours to go. He's going to love where we're going. Huh, did that say Waco? Do we know anybody in Waco? Look at that cute face. Oh, Jai, you're such a good traveler. You're tired. There's the Waco Water Tower. The big W. Go find Breck. Did you find Breck? You did? Do you remember that guy? Who is that? Funny, some strange little white dumb little black dog just popped into the backyard. Looks a lot like Jaw, doesn't it? Imagine that. He's a wild man now that we're here. He's been running around the yard like crazy, peeing on everything. Are you excited? You are? You're happy? 